you were like, man, I just, you know, thank God for the opportunity. And then the next thing, I, I still feel like that, though. Then I see you the next time pulling out receipts. I only made $2,000 here. I made $2,000 here. I definitely make more than $6,000 a month. What was that about? I got to hear about yeah. that episode, bro. Yeah, like, you, yeah, why the hell you didn't give me that? You hey. could have brought the receipts to Houston, hey, nigga. You, you, know, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm one of the people where... I'm, 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 I'm trying to be, I try to be cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the nigga in me still pop out of sometimes, you feel me? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Oh, man, like, man, like, when you look at y'all show, man, and I see how y'all rolling, man, like, it's dope, man, to see how y'all moving on an independent level. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't really seeing a lot of people that's moving on an independent level, you know what I'm saying? Most of these guys is under umbrellas. Like you, you got your own show. Man, come on, man. You know how we do it. And, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm your show is your show. Bro, I'm fucked up too. You know I mean? I'm, <laughs> I, I, I'm seeking help, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm seeking help, bro. Because my show is still unorthodox and Oh, it's shit. crazy. It's crazy. I gotta yeah. watch it. Yeah, well, oh, you gotta pull crazy. up. Everybody yeah, I gotta do that. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this is where, this is where uh, me and you almost linked it. Is through Raven from Makita's Cookies from when, when Dolph got killed. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. She works she works on my show. She's one of my moderators on the show. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh yeah, I actually got my own cookie there now. Yeah, I got I got the wow. strawberry cookie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Makita's cookies, man. I actually went out there, interviewed them. The internet been dragging them folks, put them in the murder of Dolph, but I've been kinda, you know what I mean? On that, that ain't their fault though. Man, it ain't nah. nothing to do with them people, man. Nah, nothing at all, bro. Nothing. So. I love the fact that, you know, they was they I, I latched onto them when you linked me yeah. with them because yeah. they're a small business and they've been around forever. And that's hard, you know, to see that business have to go through that. So it made me feel like, man, we got to rock with them. Man. Just, it, it, it business, black people don't have a lot, bro. Niggas no. be acting like they got it, yeah. but these niggas be broke. Fast. So what I'm saying is we got to keep our businesses going, the small integrated businesses that we have. Yeah. We got to try to keep them going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, most of it, I agree. So, so, man, what's up with the show, man? I mean, I see you over there killing the game, man. Like, yeah, man. What's the craziest thing you done seen here lately go on on that show, man? Man, you know, it's... It's a lot of positivity now, man. Because we trying to, con like you just said, bro. As black people, we trying to conduct ourselves the right way now. Yeah. Like we all come from the hood. Everybody know that shit. You know what I'm saying? We don't want these investors to be scared of us and stuff. We got a lot of sponsors now too. So we got like seven, eight sponsors like all together right now too. So we ain't trying to mess up no sponsor money. Say something wrong. Just you know what I'm saying? Mess up the bag and shit like that. So just being real professional. We getting ready for some more live shows and stuff too. So um, our biggest show. I mean, our biggest venue, one of our biggest venues is the Novo. So we doing the Novo in um, November. Mm. That's going to be I seen y'all did a live show. I seen y'all yeah, did, did a live show. Two, first, sold, yeah. two sold out. Yeah, the first hours. one is the one mm. I uh -huh. seen. Shit. It was like, yeah. damn. Yeah, yeah. So you on the level with it, bro. Yeah, yeah. we going to yeah. New York. We going to um, the Bay. And then 2024, we about to do a whole like little run, like mm. 10, 15 cities and stuff, too. So. You called me, I think, I, I remember you had went, you, you jumped on the internet a little bit, you was yep. in DR, and then you yep. called me from DR, <laughs> yep. you were in DR kicking it, it, yep. it was over there. he called me, I'm like, man, this nigga right here is in DR, man, I'm mad as hell, I hey. need to be over there. <laughs> Go it everywhere, fun, wasn't it? Oh, it was super fun, though, but, you know, now we trying to integrate everything, too, because I got I to gotta come down south, man, I got too got many two. people, our uh, third demographic is Texas For that sure. watches us the most. Really? Yeah. If we don't never come out here, bro, we don't never do shows. We don't never integrate with the people. So I'm like, you know what? I love Houston. I said, I'm going to start coming to Dallas more. I'm going to start going yeah. to Houston more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, and really yeah. fuck with the people, though. Hop on everybody pods, do that shit. You know what I'm saying, too? So, yeah. 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 I, I tripped off, man. I ain't going to lie to you. You know, the internet buzzing. I don't, I don't want to talk too much on too many things, <laughs> man. But you, listen, man. <laughs> listen, bro, your name be ringing. That's all I'm going to say. I, I seen your on Joe Budden show, you know Shout what I'm saying. Joe Budden, man. Joe Budden had you over there. He would, he, yeah. you know, the questions was going down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. He was trying to understand where you stand in the whole situation. Yeah, yeah, your yeah. whole, like your name being spoken on. I can't say that. And 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 to be real with you, when I talked to you about you leaving no jump, I was like, man, bro. How was it over there? You was being so nice. Oh, you was Mr. Nice Guy down in Houston. You were like, man, I just, you know, thank God for the opportunity. And then the next thing I, I still feel like that, though. Then I see you the next time pulling out receipts. I only made $2,000 here. I made $2,000 here. I definitely make more than $6,000 a month. What was that about? I got to hear about yeah. that episode, yeah, bro. Like you, yeah, why the hell you didn't give me that? Hey. You could have brought the receipts to Houston, hey, nigga. You, you, know, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm one of the people where I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be, I try to be cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But 
the nigga in me still pop out of sometimes. You feel me? You frustrated when I too. feel attacked. I just, I just, you know, I just strike back. It's in my nature and shit, though. But on some <laughs> real shit, like that's all it is, man. Like, well, I mean, what made you bring the receipts out? Like, I know I heard the, I, I did hear the Bootleg Kev interview. Mm -hmm. It was some shots fired, you know, all, war shots, all kind of stuff mm -hmm. was going on yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out how do you move when, when, when your name being drugged through the mud, but then. It, it's a counter reaction to where it's saying, oh, but you using our name to pretty much uh, uh, get views. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm learning how to respond to stuff. I'm just used to slapping niggas and shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, right. and I know in the business world, that don't work. That no, don't it work. don't. So, it don't you know, and, 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 I, and I'm a grown man. Now. I'm 34 years old. I should be able to conduct myself with words without having to resort to that. Now, if it's cause for that, then do that though, but I ain't about to let nobody have me crash out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I got, I got my children. You feel me? There I got a go. great career. There I got go, a lot man. of good shit going on. So if I'm a go, I'm gonna have to go for a reason, no not reason. for no petty shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Even doing the whole back and forth shit, like I'm done with the shit. But you let feel me, me ask I you said this. what I said. Real shit. Let, let me yeah. ask you this though: when you like, when you look at uh, Snoop Dogg, I remember at the mm -hmm. Vibe Awards. You know, y'all don't, y'all young niggas, y'all don't know I got. Yeah, I ain't know they had the Vibe Awards. The Vibe Awards. Source Awards. No, the Vibe Awards, nigga. Nigga, at the same time. Let me tell you, the Vibe. Let me tell you, it was what's that nigga name? The one that was on on race show. That the, the 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 producer Quincy Jones Quincy Jones, mm. Quincy Jones was push, pushing it right well, he was pushing the the, the vibe yeah, the yeah, vibe yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so but Snoop Dogg they got into a fight in there I think with fifty of them got into a fight in there you mean, somebody you got stabbed you, you talking about you talking about Dr Dre with uh, yeah 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 uh, Dr. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he got yeah I'm just Dr Dre was getting an award but Snoop was on stage but something Snoop said that was so detrimental during that time he said man if I'd have moved three hundred more niggas would have got into it so I didn't move. And when you be talking, I thought about this, like some of the things you say and the world you come from could cause something to ignite. Oh, if you if you say things the wrong way on the Internet, react to things a certain way, niggas going to move a certain way. And I still get blamed, though. Exactly. <laughs> you know Cause, what I mean? Because they can lock you up for anything. You said this or he said that and they tied together yeah. on these podcasts or wherever. Yeah. So. What do you do to try to keep the situation to a calm state, bro? Man, you, how do you do it? You know, just in just in general, um, I didn't made it through everything. You know what I'm saying? From anything you could think of, from a from a gangster standpoint to a grown man standpoint, just I didn't get to this point just to go back to doing what I used to do or being affiliated and surrounding myself with negativity and shit too. So when my homeboys, I got people that really love me. They're gonna yeah. do whatever though. You know what I'm saying? And it's only so much I can say where it's like, hey, bro, don't don't respond that way. Don't react that way. But when they at least come to me, what I facilitate to my homies and stuff like that, I got to be a real leader. Yeah. So I'm like, look, don't even come to me with no negativity. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's in our face, we can handle it then. But if not, we ain't going to look for it. We ain't about to sit there and ponder on that. Let's go get some, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, little homie, you got you rap? All right, let's put you in the studio. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Bought a studio. All my little homies, y'all go rap. Y'all yeah. go do y'all thing. Y'all need some help? I mean, even like my little brother, man. My little brother got out of prison 10 years. You mm -hmm. feel me? Yeah. He be feeling a certain way about certain stuff. Wow. You know what I'm saying? He was the hothead. Yeah. But, man, married. You know what I'm saying? He He's editing, shooting his own videos with an iPhone, editing them. He's making his own artwork. He's sitting there pushing. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. And it's like, I'd rather see stuff like that yeah. than anything else. Because at the end of the day, all they're going to say anyway is, they some niggas. Yeah. At the end yeah. of the day. It's, it's, and, then, and then where does that put even even having that stigma even having that stigma around me they gonna get that bag to somebody else when they can say you know what he's a good businessman he putting up great numbers I've seen what that done in my rap career yeah. is when I'm going to labels and I'm sitting there with meetings and people telling me you a liability and I'm like how am I a liability oh we hear some things are you affiliated with this you affiliated with that so a lot of doors was closed for me yeah. before I even got a chance to do anything mm -hmm. so now I got a situation now to where it's doing great I'm a boss I'm independent I'm I'm making shit shake and we got black and brown brothers we pushing together and shit like that we got the city man we gotta conduct ourselves like businessmen now yeah we on boss talk 101, 101. yeah we gonna talk